Hey everyone! So today I have a collective haul to share with you today. I placed a test store order from the Johnson City, I believe Johnson City, Tennessee test store, which are these three candles here and the Paris VIP tote. And then I also stopped into my local store today and grabbed a few things. So let's get started. Um, I guess I'll start off with the test store order that I just received today. I got <clears throat> Bonfire Maplewood Plum Wine Amber and Cranberry Woods. So let's start off with Cranberry Woods. It describes as fresh tart cranberries, black currant, and warm cinnamon bark combine in a delightful fragrance inspired by the magic of the woods during harvest time. Now, I'm not really a fan of cranberry scents, but I saw a few people get this in their recent test store hauls, and I do like a woodsy type scent, so I figured I would probably like this. So I'm going to smell it. The wicks are thick, and I love the color of this wax. It's like a maroon. And, uh, yeah, I really like that. I don't really smell the black currant too much because I love black currant vanilla. Um, it smells more of a woodsy, but I, it'll probably smell a little different uh, when I burn it. But I like the smell of that so far. And then the next one I got is Plum Wine Amber. I got this one specifically because somebody said that it kind of reminds them of Dark Kiss, and I know that there was Dark Kiss candles at a time, but I was not a frequent shopper when that happened, and then when they released them to outlets recently, uh, by the time I called to order, they were all gone. So I figured I would give this a try. It's described as a splendid blend of mulled wine, golden amber, and purple plum, creates a fragrance that recalls the richest of fall days. I really, I like the smell of this. Um, it doesn't really smell too much like Dark Kiss to me, but it does smell good, so we'll see how that goes when I burn it. The wicks are nice, um, and I like the color wax. It's like a smoky lavender. And then this last one. I am so confused when it comes to this last one because I've seen people post on the Facebook page and on uh, certain blogs and I think even on YouTube people have described this scent. There's my cat in the background. <laughs> people have described this scent as um, it has like caramel and something and nothing too woodsy. But on the bottom of my candle, this is what it says. This cozy fragrance inspired by gathering around the crackling fires of fall combined sweet fig, cardamom, warm vanilla, and firewood notes. So that's completely different from the, um, the descriptions that I've been seeing on the internet. Um, I was originally hoping for a bonfire type scent. So when I saw this on the bottom, I was really excited about it. And it totally smells like a bonfire type scent which is awesome it smells really good it's really unique too so I can't wait and I love the label that crackling fire it's beautiful so those are the three that I got from the test store they're all the white barn candles so that's cool I really love the gold lab uh, the gold lid it's really cute and then the last thing I got from the test store was the VIP Paris tote. I haven't opened this yet, so bear with me. I got this because my mom loves anything Paris. She has a whole corner in her bedroom with all Eiffel Towers and um, nice posters and whatnot. So her birthday's coming up in like two weeks, so I figured perfect gift for her would be all this Paris inspired stuff. And she loves bags like this. I'll show you the bag. Um, it has this cute little bow detail, and it says Bath and Body Works, and, you know, this little label or whatever. And the inside is a nice pink plaid, and it actually has a zipper closure. I'm sorry that my camera is, like, all out of whack with focus, but it's super, super cute. 
My mom is going to love this. I'm so happy that they offered this for $20 with $30 purchase. It's awesome. So this is what came inside. I don't want to open it yet, but I can actually see that there's like the pocket back or something is leaking. So that's not good. But there is a pair of some more pocket back and it actually has glitter if you could see. And then a body lotion, a lip gloss, a cute little pocket back holder. It's pink and glittery. A uh, pair of some more fine fragrance mist. And uh, my mom has one of these, but it's almost empty. So that's what makes this gift even better. And then there is the, you can see it through whatever leaked, the um, pair of some more shower gel. And then there's a pink loofah. So yeah, I'm, when I finish this video, I'm going to figure out what the hell is leaking. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just move this out of the way. Okay, and then today I stopped in my local store because if you guys watched my review, actually before I get into that, also in my package from the test store was this envelope and it says my name. And inside is this super, super nice note. And it says, Miss Schoenrock, on behalf of Bath & Body Works team 921, we thank you for purchasing your new fall candles from us. We hope you enjoy them and your new Paris-inspired tote. Team 921. So that's really nice. I wasn't expecting that. And yeah, that made me happy. And they're so nice. When I placed the phone order, they were so, so nice. Okay. Now to the last part of my haul, I had to exchange my cinnamon nut bread candle because it was unscented and it was pointless. So I grabbed the cult favorite, Marshmallow Fireside. I love this. Last year I didn't get this in an oil, I mean I'm sorry, I didn't get this in a candle. I got it in the oil and I am in love. I barely have any oil left. So I figured I would definitely try it in the candle. And it's a sweet toasty end to a long cold day toasted marshmallows and sumptuous vanilla cream blend with the comforting aroma of rich smoldering woods smells just like the oil smells just like last year's marshmallow fireside it's amazing this is like definitely a top five scent for me and then i grabbed a lavender vanilla spray because Lil Balladier talks so highly of the uh, White Barn lavender vanilla. So I had to try it and I've been wanting uh, lavender vanilla in a different form because I love uh, fragrancing my room before I go to bed so that I fall asleep easier. And then I also grabbed a cinnamon sugar donut oil because I've seen... Um, People posting that their cinnamon sugar donut for this year doesn't really have a strong throw. So I wasn't even going to bother with the candle and I'm so glad they have this in an oil. So I can't wait to try that out. And then I had a coupon for buy $10 worth to get a free signature item. So I got Dark Kiss Bubble Bath. I don't really take baths too often but... Uh, I guess this will come in handy. I mean, I have everything else in Darkest, so this is just sealing the collection. And then I have all these coupons and everything. Um, you know, the Paris party that I'm not going to go to because I don't like going to the mall on weekends. So, yeah, that's it for my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any questions about anything that I got, I will gladly answer them, and I will be doing reviews for these candles as I burn them. So everybody take care, have a great day, and leave me some comments. Bye-bye.